Hugo, how serious is this then for Credit Suisse and what does that mean, a serious breach? Indeed, the language is packs a certain punch, but as as often the case with, with the Swiss regulator FINMA, there are not many things that they can really do to uh, drive the message home. In essence, uh, in this case, Credit Suisse is facing no fines of any kind, uh, and it really has just been forced to take on a series of measures to improve its compliance, improve its risk management, and that's something that um, the CEO says he welcomes, um, even if it's not something that would have necessarily happened until FINMA, until FINMA weighed in. So Hugo, give us a little bit of a timeline on this. Is this the end of the probe for Credit Suisse, or is there more to come? The CEO Ulrich Corner said he welcomes what he called the conclusion of the probe, but in many respects this is just the beginning, because although the bank, in theory, the, the discipline of the bank phase has ended, we now have uh, enforcement proceedings that have been opened uh, against four former managers, which essentially guarantees that both from a FINMA Swiss regulation perspective, this is very much going to stay uh, in the headlines when the results of those enforcement proceedings, proceedings emerge, whether it's six months or a year from now. But also don't forget that there is uh, litigation over the green sale affair uh, in the UK, uh, here in Switzerland and elsewhere. So we're essentially facing um, years of bad green sale headlines still to come for the bank. So this is uh, by no means over, even if um, Mr. Kerner is, is wishing it as such in his statement today.